happy, happy, happy new year to you all. Ha! God has been good, hasn't he? I don't care the situation you find yourself in right now. If you can hear my voice, if you can see me, if you can breathe, my dear, God has been good. And he's always faithful because all you need is life. Look back where you're coming from, the people you started with. My dear, some are ahead of you. Some are just by you. Others are behind you. Some are nowhere to be found. But whatever it is, obeying any movement. God has time for anybody. So don't worry. 2019, we are here. Whatever it has for us, God will sort us out. Hello and welcome to the standpoint. I'm sure by now you know we are on Joy Prime. Yay! Woo! I had a good time too. Sundays, 6 p.m. You don't want to miss the standpoint. Today I have a special program for you. And we are going to look at a healthy family. Uh-huh. Health means everything. Health is so important. And when I talk about health, I'm not only talking about the medicals. I'm talking about diet. I'm talking about your finances. I'm talking about a happy home. I'm talking about, you know, um, a bonding family. So today we are going to look at the family holistically. And you don't want to miss it. Anyway, for 2019, our theme is the powerful woman. A woman of power. Uh-huh. What does it mean? You wait. You wait because woman, you have power. And the powerful woman is not a bossy woman. She's not rude. She's not arrogant. She's not domineering. But we will talk about that later. But today we are looking at a healthy family. My name, yes, it still remains or hine, you're a gifty auntie. In 2018, by the grace of God, I received a lot of accolades. They include Yokama, that's the virtuous woman or a woman of substance or ideal woman, by the people of Manyakrobo, Chief, the Paramount Chief Nene Sakite II. And his people honored me. It was such a beautiful, I'm sure you saw it on social media. And then the people of Asante Bonri also honored me with a beautiful kente because they say I've been promoting the kente brand. And so I was honored and I was referred to as Obapa Awodansua. I'm sure you know that Awodansua is my traditional name given to me by, you know, virtue of marriage to the chief of... Um, the Little Republic of Edomasa. But I remain, oh, you know, you're a gifty auntie. Yours and only yours. You can call me gifty, auntie gifty, sister gifty, whatever it is. I'm yours. I'm here. I'm the woman with super crazy faith in God. That's all that matters. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll look at a healthy family. We'll be back. Aren't we blessed to be in the new year 2019? Ha! Huh? Trust me, I'm no prophet, I'm no pastor, I'm nothing, but I know it's going to be a better year. It's going to be a better year. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. Mm -hmm, family time. You're, on watch, you're watching Joy Prime. And it's time for the standpoint. And I have a program for you. A healthy family. This year we are not joking with anything. Remember, woman. The theme for the standpoint 2019 is a woman of power. Woman of power. Woman of power. Okay, let me say thank you to GTP for my clothes. My dress was made for me by Ophelia Crossland Designs Beads. Sun Beads. I just love that young lady. I mean, she just makes me look so glamorous. When I went to Bonry last year, December, on the 8th for my honor... At the, during the Kente Festival, everybody was admiring my beats. I mean, Sun Beats, thank you so much for that. She just hooked me. Uh, I mean, 
how do you say? She made me look beautiful and glamorous with my beads and even the chiefs were commenting on that. I also say thank you to Inshila for my hair. And yes, Sasha Fierce now. No, this is Gifty Fierce. Looking wild with my hair. <laughs> and then thank you to Pava Cosmetics. Always faithful. Over seven years and still going strong. They give me the makeup product and makeup and more. Apply the makeup for us. Now, today, we are looking at a healthy family. And I have the strong people here to talk to us about that. At my extreme left, I have Dr. Elizabeth Intojan. She's a family physician at Kolibu Teaching Hospital and her first time on the standpoint. And she's starting the year with us. Good to have you on the Thank standpoint. You for me. Thank you. <laughs> and next to Dr. Itojan is my own brother from another mother, Joe Wilson Tete. He's a vice president, Ghana Tourism Federation, and also Vice President Chefs Association of Ghana. Good to have you back. It's always a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> I'm, coming, so I, I'm always happy being with you. You know, <laughs> and then my mentor, my counselor, my strong woman, my woman of power, my reverend. You know I love you, right? I and I love to worry you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Reverend Dr. Susan Inti, she's secondary division head, Association International School, and director Addison Bosman Consulting. She is a counselor. She's a reverend. She ordains people. And the way she's been praying with me these days, I know very soon she will tell me that, won't you consider coming into But that will be a conversation for another day. Good to have you, Doc. <laughs> Starting the new year. Yes. And I'm sure you've heard our theme for the year. I intentionally didn't tell you, you know, behind the scene. The woman of power. Who is a woman of power? A woman of power, I would say, is a woman who knows where her strength comes from, mm. where her strength lies, and that is from God, because mm. we were created in mm. his image, and we are fearfully mm. and wonderfully made. Mm. So a woman of power is a woman who knows exactly who she is, mm. knows the gifts, the talents, the abilities that God has placed in her, and if she doesn't know them, she's looking for them, mm. she's mm. discovering mm herself. She is, as Michelle Obama would say, she is becoming. becoming. Mm. <laughs> she is becoming. Yes. yes. Not that she's got it all, no. but she, she's, she's becoming. She's on the journey. Yes. Doc. Um, I'm sure everybody has moments where they are broken. Mm. But it's at that point where you feel broken and you pick up yourself again and say that this is what I went through. But through that, you are made strong. And I'm sure everybody can look back on a few times and say that this is the point where I got broken. But where you, left you, where you, you, you give yourself away, where you let yourself go, mm -hmm. that is when you lose it. But yeah. when you come out strong out of it, I'm sure that is when you stand the test of time to say that. When you let it. your pain become your power. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Joe, from the well, last point of view, <laughs> who is a woman of power? Yeah, I think Reverend, Reverend gave us the premise, and I think mm. that's the most important. I'm a right. Christian, and I always say that there's nothing we do yeah, that, that doesn't have the foundation of Christ, mm. and you think mm. it's, it's, you succeed. Yeah. It's like having a structure, a building. Yeah. And then you don't have the right foundation. No matter how beautiful, how strong you build it, it will crumble down. Yeah. So I see a woman of power who is uh, somebody who knows herself, is assertive. And she doesn't, she doesn't assert herself rudely, but calmly and in a nice way, she decides and says, this is what I want. Mm. But all that should be premised on the foundation of Christ. Mm. She what knows what is. she's sure. about and she goes Definitely. for it. Sure. Nothing stands her way. Mm. She doesn't hold weapons, no. but she has power. Exactly. Thank yeah. you very much. Now, back to you, Doc. 2019, yes. what is important for you and your family? It's just, um, as a family, our foundation is Christ. So mm. it's acknowledging every good thing that God has placed in you mm. and allowing him to lead you in the path that he has for you mm. in 2019. You know, God has placed dreams and visions in your heart for us as a family. Mm. You know, I think one of our aims 
for our family is that we glorify God and we live our lives, you know, to be the best that God has created us to be mm. and to do and to walk in his path each day in the new year. Yeah. Amen to that. Mm. And Joe, for your family, I want us to mm. look at ourselves before we move sure. to sure. the other side. Um, so what I'm trying to let my family have is that identify yourself. Know who you are. And normally, if you come to my house, also the word SWAT is like uh, a drinking water. Mm. Find your strengths, find your weaknesses. Mm. Because you know just the strengths, you don't know the weaknesses, it, it, it hurts you. Mm. But once you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you get, take all the opportunities that lie in your strength. And then where your weaknesses are, the threats that poses in there, you mitigate them so that the strengths become prominent. And mm. then you can find your goal. Mm. That's what mm. we give for every individual in the family. Sure. Okay. Doc. Mm. One Reverend Minister mounted a podium and all he said is that we have too many broken homes. Mm. Mm. There are so many mm. of them he can count. Mm. Because you get these children along the street, everybody can identify with the family, but yeah. where are they? Mm. I tell myself that I want to be there more now for my kids because for sure. three years running, I've been running around school, in and out, mm. and back and forth. So I was like, the little time I have, I have to be with them. Now we've adopted a moment that breakfast, lunch is a bit on the giddy giddy side. You know, everybody's mm. running around. But dinner, supper, we have to eat from the same pot. So every evening, so it brings that sense of unity and that mm. sense of belongingness. Mm. So many people are broken. So many people are walking around they don't identify with anything but once you let them know that this is your identity and once you're inculcating that in them they understand the unity that comes as a family mm. right so it really helped me and coming today i'm sure we'll still be able to spill it out more for mm. people to know that yeah. i mean we should not break homes yeah. the little forces should be cut off right I like that. The little forces <laughs> should be cut off. Yeah. We take a break. When we come back, we'll go into what my experts have in terms of advice for you, for us, as a family to live a healthy life. We'll be back. Water gives life. Water is life. Enjoy the pure, refreshing taste of awake, purified drinking water, which comes in a uniquely designed bottle with a lemon green tap. Water is your perfect way to stay hydrated. And remember, for every bottle you buy, an amount will be donated to the National Covid Thoracic Center, Ghana. Awake, purified drinking water. One for life. For bulk purchase, contact 0262-351-251. I'm a beneficiary of the Girl in Need Foundation. Some time ago, there was no hope for me to go to school. But through the Girl in Need Foundation, I was able to complete my secondary education. I quite remember when we completed JHS, things became very, very tough. But with the help of God and the help of this foundation, which is the Girl in Need Child Foundation, now we are who we are today. And this foundation are really, has really, really helped me. So I'm pleading with you that you help with any amount you have. Please give something out. Donate at least one city for a girl. who will change one one's life. Remember, your one city can touch a life out there, can make impact in the life of somebody. Welcome back. Yes, you're still watching The Standpoint on Joy Prime. Um, and... Um, we are having a wonderful time. Education, information, you know, everything. I mean, box into one. And we are going to look at how to break loose. Break loose and think outside the box. Let me say thank you to House of Food to support us. Casa Preco. I mean, the team is amazing. They always come to my aid. No matter how 
you know, short the notice is. And I'm so, so grateful to them. They give us the royal drinks. They give us awake purified water. And every bottle of purified water you buy, they contributes a percentage to the National Cardiothoracic Fund. So it's amazing. Jandal and Tiafi, my mother, my sister, my friend, my mentor, my everything, the woman who catered for my wedding, you know, and she's always as usual. I mean, I repent, Tiafi, I must say the truth. Last minute, but then she came through for us. She just gave us this beautiful Christmas decor. And if you leave me, I'll celebrate Christmas around the year. I just love, I'm just... A child like that. I just love Christmas. So thank you to Jandel for, you know, fixing our studio and making it look very festive. Thank you to Cake Technique. They're always here to support us. And then also to Dream Over. They, they power our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh. This program is also aired on ABN TV on Sky Channel 195, which is across Western Europe, parts of Canada and Asia. We are also on Virgin TV Channel 842 in United Kingdom. Yet cleaning services, make sure our environment is very clean all the time. And Daddy Cool Pastries, they are our new supporters and we are so grateful to all of them. Now, Chef Joe, a healthy family. What goes into making a family healthy? I think it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that we, we tell ourselves, I don't have money, so I'm eating, um, 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 I'm not eating healthy. But I believe that if we understand and appreciate what constitutes a meal on the plate, mm. it doesn't matter how much you have. Because if we could say, in the absence of a single egg, you can't afford a single egg, but you can buy, you know, we call them... Um, Kita school boys. Yeah. Three small pieces. And in a child's meal, you make sure that one is tucked in. Some contemporary is in there. Or some bean is there. Black eye bean. Mm. Into your contemporary or into your jollof. You couldn't afford any protein, any animal protein. Some black eye bean are going all. And these are so, so, so down to earth when we talk of prices. Mm. Just, just a, let's make sure that everything that we put together as a meal for the family is very healthy. We shouldn't limit ourselves to the carbohydrate. You know, normally Ghanaians, our carbohydrates are the bulkers on the plate. Mm -hmm. But let's break that down a bit and increase the proteins a bit. Okay. Where probably fathers, as old as I am, would rather take the mm -hmm. better part of mm -hmm. the protein and the little kids. If father eats and there's some leftover because they mm -hmm. come and nibble over. But let's change the culture where mm -hmm. the, we should allow the children also to grow. Right. Because there, there's a certain age range that they grow, probably the doctor can say mm. that properly, that if they are not well nourished, they get stunted, they are mm. not able to grow properly. So you realize that these days, you see lots of families that children are even now overgrown, they are obese, right. because now yeah. people have known them over, and that is not because they are giving them good food, but they are giving them the other junk. side of the junk, yeah. exactly, of the wrong food. Other side is malnourished, and other side is also it's junk, you're putting mm -hmm. all the carbohydrates and the fats and all those things. Well, so let's balance it. And the easiest way to find this is that let's make our plate colorful. Mm. Once your plate looks colorful, you are assured that some nourishment is in there. Assuming you want to eat banku and okra, your banku is white, your okra is green, maybe your okra is too light, the green is, um, 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 let's say, um, lighter in color, Black. so you want a darker green, so you shred some goma or some alefu or some kotomre into it, and then you have some crab in there. You have some uh, keta school boys in there, or amani or tuna, mm. definitely some color has come in there. Again, let's be adventurous in our cooking. We have grown up mm -hmm. to know that okra soup is okra, but why not throw some black eye bean into your okra and see what it means, mm -hmm. how it tastes like. Mm -hmm. So we must Adventure. experiment. Exactly. Exactly. There was a time I experienced. I remember when we were doing TV. The, you yes, remember long, yes, some yes, years yes, back. Yes, yes, there was a yeah. time I had to put um, soya bean. So you have been powdered in the bank that we were Yes, making, yes. Just yes. so that if the child doesn't like the stews, once the child protein. eats the bank, bank. the bank, you know some protein has been tucked in. And so it is an adventure. Let's be adventurous in the kitchen. Mm. And I believe that the physical nourishment is mm. going to come in there. Mm. Sure. Now, you know, the Reverend Doc, I'll come to you. <laughs> Most of the, I mean, you were nodding and health, I mean, food 
it's very important. I mean, we, it's one of the basics that we need to survive. But we've become such a very busy society mm -hmm. that spending time to even cook has become a problem that we'll just go and pick. Go and buy banco and tilapia from the street. Buy wachi, buy this, buy this, buy everything from the street to eat. So spending time at home to prepare good meals, even if it's just once a week, it's tough. It is tough. It's very tough, especially when you have both parents now working mm. and not getting home on time. Um, times have changed. You know, gone are the days where we had one working person and the other party mm -hmm. not working. We have a lot of broken relationships, as mm. Doc was saying. And so, you know, staying at home and cooking doesn't appear to be an option mm. these days. It's either you cook at the weekend and, you know, if you have a freezer, mm. you can portion the food um, like in different packs or in mm. Ziploc bags and mm. put them in the freezer or in the fridge. And then when you come home, um, you just warm fried fish or roasted chicken or, you know, grilled chicken and then have some rice on. And when you've lived outside the country like I have for 35 years, mm -hmm. where both parties are working and, you know, your, your menu becomes completely different. Mm -hmm. You have maybe oats mm -hmm. um, in the morning, you have a sandwich at lunchtime, and then you have, you know, like a light meal, not a heavy or big heavy meal at night. You know, so there's so many mm, different, sense, yeah. rather than eating heavy, mm. because gone are the days where people eat heavy, mm. and then they go to the farm to work. Mm. Nowadays, we don't go to the farm. So when you eat heavy, it's you and your food mm. in your stomach. Or go and do construction work. Yes. And, recurring things, and yeah. we, don't, we don't walk like we used to walk. Yeah. So if you think about the calorie intake that you need to have, like a woman... Your calorie intake is 1,500 mm. calories a day. Mm. With men, it's about 2,000 mm -hmm. calories. So when you understand caloric value, it makes it easy because you can start adding up in your mm. head. And mm. if your caloric value as a woman is more than 1,500 calories mm. for that day, as you continue, that is the extra weight you're going to be putting on. So you have to balance yeah. your, your intake. Right. Joe, you want to come in before I want yes, to go to... Yes, Doc mentioned sandwiches. And yeah. uh, I want to disabuse our minds and families. But normally when we mention sandwiches, we're thinking of we need to get our bread and get our lettuce mm. and get the tuna. Yes, and, and, and the, the mayonnaise and, and, the... and things like that. But what do you think about... Because that's what I do. The garden stew, the contemporary stew. When we have it for supper. I remember you did one uh, sometime you. During, during now. <laughs> thank you. The, after <laughs> supper, the leftovers, don't throw them out. Put yeah. them in the fridge in the morning. You don't need to warm it. Cut your bread, put it in there, wrap it, and put it in the car. Mm -hmm. And have your beverage. It could be tea, it could be milo, it could be a shake, a fruit, fruit juice or something. And it's so tasty. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm challenging every family, everybody watching this program. Try it. Guiding X steel in bread, mm -hmm. sandwich. And even if you don't have a drink, get an orange and squeeze of pineapple. Be eating the pineapple with a guiding X steel sandwich, with a contemporary sandwich. You'll love them. They're very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about how to, you know, think outside and act, liberate yourself, be adventurous with, you know, food and things around you. But talk, how important is all this? Because at the end of it all, we are looking at our health. Mm. We say a healthy person in a healthy family. Yeah. He was bringing in the World Health Organization definition of who a healthy person is. Mm. Not the mere absence of disease, but mentally, spiritually... Physically, now everything Lee, you want to add. Yes. <laughs> because it's, like it's a whole facet that makes up a human being, body, soul, mind, and spirit. Mm. You can't take one part and leave that person out. Mm. We come in as family physicians because we say that we dig deep into... Mm. You can't just say that... Okay, hold on a second and sorry. explain the family physician. Good. So, yeah. I'm a family physician. What I do as my core principle is that I take care of every race, 
every individual from irrespective of your age, your sex, your color, your creed. So we say from cradle to grave. Wow. Okay. So once you are born and you are doing call, 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 to the time you are holding your walking stick, we are there for, for you. you. Okay. Irrespective of what you are bringing to us, we are the gatekeepers of our healthcare okay. system. Okay. Good. So pediatrics, gynae, whatever. You do everything. Exactly. That's a lot. Yes. So yeah. we say we are doctors without borders. Indeed. That's what we were saying this morning. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're looking at an individual, you can't say that if it is your hand that is hurting, let me take out the hand alone, deal with it, and fix it back. Once the hand goes off, the whole human being ceases to function as a human being. If it is your eye, you can't say, let me poke out your left eye, fix it, and then put it back. Once the left eye goes, it affects the whole human being. Right. So as you are eating, what you are putting in, know that its impact is felt on every facet of your body that is functioning yeah. as an individual. Yeah. We say something like, know your numbers. Okay. So your blood pressure, you should know it. Yeah. Your cholesterol level, you should know. Because once you know these things, it makes you a bit conscious. Mm. It's not like you are throwing in everything. It will amaze you that I can do my cholesterol level. Doctor, if the auntie can do her cholesterol level, mine will be may way higher. Yeah, so it's not yeah. just even the sizes that matter. Yeah. yeah, it's what you are taking. Some people say, "I'm not even eating whatever they say gives cholesterol," yes, but know that your body is also making some on its own already. Mm. Yeah. So it's just what you are adding on that is. Yeah. I mean, amounting it. Mm. Know your so know your figures. Yeah. Somebody said the good thing you can do to yourself is getting your numbers on your birthday, mm. even if you can't do anything at all, just for yourself, just yeah. once a year. Yeah. People are advocating mm. for twice a year or so six monthly. Know your numbers. Let me take another break. When we come back, we are going to look at the little things that makes families unhealthy. The hurts, the misunderstandings, you know, the brokenness, you know, the little things that go in there. Well, let me say thank you to GTP. They always make me happy. They keep me healthy by giving me the nicest of flaws, you know, GTP. And I know at the part. Duma, Adipa Dumas is on the market. If you haven't bought anything for your loved ones yet, please go out there. Go and get Adipa Dumas. Beautiful colors, rich in texture, and it has everything. You don't have to do slit and cover <laughs> with it. You can do anything with it. And they have new style. They have Insroma. They have Safwa. They have the normal Adipa. There is a Vlisco. There's no Vlisco. They don't sponsor me, so I take them out. <laughs> Only GTP, you know, stuff. Just kidding, you know. But thank you so much to them. And thank you to Ophelia Crossland Design for always making me look very, you know, stylish. Hooking me out nicely. Um, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you, Ophelia, Velma, Dora, Cynthia, everybody out there. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Thank you to Papa Cosmetics, Felicia Sapon, Mrs. Felicia Sapon, the CEO, to Yvonne, to uh, Makeup and More. Gloria and her team, thank you so much for always applying the makeup for us and make us, making us look up. Happy New Year to Ishilo. She hooks me up with her hair, all the wigs that I wear today. I'm looking wild. Well, thank you to Sunbeats and Happy New Year to all of them. We are so grateful to all those who support us and all our panelists who have been on the program and all the audience that we've had over the years. Happy New Year to you all. We'll be back. I'm a beneficiary of the Girl in Need Foundation. Some time ago, there was no hope for me to go to school. But through the Girl in Need Foundation, I was able to complete my secondary education. I quite remember when we completed JHS, things became very, very tough. But with the help of God and the help of this foundation, which is the Girl in Need Child Foundation, now we are who we are today. And this foundation are really, has really, really helped me. So I'm pleading with you that you help with any amount you have. Please give something out. Donate at least one CD for a girl. It will change one one's life. Remember, your one city can touch a life out there, can make impact in the life of somebody.
back. And now that we've talked about food and everything, Auntie Vera, Happy New Year to you. Auntie Vera is the CEO of House of Foods. They also, you know, make sure that we get healthy foods to eat, you know, not too oily. And we are so grateful to them. Cake technique, cupcakes um, every now and then. We don't eat it too much. So when we eat the cupcake, <laughs> so today when I give you the cupcake, don't expect me to add drink to it. I'm kidding. It's so we we'll give you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you so much to uh, um, Cake Technique. Thank you to Daddy Cool Pastries, and then um, thank you to Yap Cleaning Services, to um, our wet purified mineral water, the team at Casa Preco, Unis, Linda, Chris. We are so grateful to all of you. As usual, you always come through to support us. Listen, maybe we, the sponsorship is not in cash, but then if we didn't have the sponsorship, we would still use money to go and buy water to save, buy drinks to save. So we do not... We do not discount it at all. And we are so grateful to all of you for the support that you give us. Royal drinks, thank you. And happy new year to you. Now, a healthy family. Some families, yes, they may be fit as a fiddle. They are eating well, but they are not healthy. There's no happiness at home. There's no unity at home. There's hurt and pain carried over the years. And it's still there. One person is hurting and is quiet. Or sometimes both parties, mother and father, are hurting. Sometimes the children are the ones hurting. But then everybody doesn't want to rock the boat. And so we are in there. But it is not a healthy family. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth and created a family. Mm. Adam and Eve. So family was the first, you know, group that God created. Um, a lot of the time, you see that people treat even their church better mm. than they treat their own family. God didn't create a church first. He created a family. Mm. And the building blocks of the church is family. Mm. But somehow we've put the cart before mm. the horse. Mm -hmm. And we are all chasing mm -hmm. and, you know, going into programs mm. and going into busyness. And we've forgotten that family is so important mm. to God. When you read Ephesians chapter 5, it talks from verse 18. And it's a new year, so I'll bring some scripture. Yes. yes. Yeah. It talks about, you know, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Yeah. And then he goes into talking, Paul goes into talking about submitting one to another yeah. Yeah. in love. Yeah. And then he says, wives, submit to your husbands. Okay, so wives, submit to your husbands. Then he says, husbands, love your wives. Yeah, and then he goes on to talk about children. Obey, Obey and honor your parents. So there is a structure for family. Like human beings as we are, and being human... We sometimes don't like to read the manual. Mm. And so we like to DIY. Mm. Uh -huh. Do it yourself. Yeah. It's like, this is how I want it done. Mm. And we don't follow the instructions, the manual you know, instructions. So a lot of the issues that we face is self-inflicted. Mm. Mm. Because if we were doing it the way that it was supposed to be done there wouldn't be a lot of the issues that we have. For example, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church and died for her. Mm. Wives, submit, respect mm. your husbands. You know, so there's 
a way that family should run. Fathers, do not provoke or exasperate your children, but nurture them and bring them up in the fear of the Lord. Mm. You know, when, if we see what it's supposed to be, the intention in God's mind when he created family, what we have now and the brokenness, you know, the, the pain, mm. the, the emotional, mental, social abuse that we face is all because of the fallen nature of man right. or woman. And so when you're talking about a healthy family, we have to go back to the manual and realize that it is possible. No family is perfect. You mm. can't have a, you know, because we are human, there won't be a perfect family. Right. Because as soon as you are part of it, it will be imperfect mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. You know, and we need to learn how to serve one another. Yeah. You know, like somebody does something, I appreciate the breakfast yeah. you made me. Yeah. How many times, mm -hmm. a lot of the problems is because we don't really even appreciate, appreciate. the families that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for, for yeah. you know, making the bed. Thank you yeah. for that cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, thank you for paying the rent. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for paying the mm -hmm. electricity. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know, how many yeah. times do we say so, that? So that uh, let, me, let me go to um, Dr. Intojan and then come. Oh, no, let me come to you, Joe, so that we, we, we break it a bit. Because a lot of the heads in families now is being taken for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like feeling, for me, for example, I was raised to, you know, appreciate everything. So when I do things, but, but my, my father would tell you that, let's say, apart from me and your mother, any other person, right, doesn't owe you anything. Mm. So whatever they do for you, you must appreciate mm. it. Whatever it is, they're doing it out of. So, so when I feel unappreciated, it really hurts me, you know. Yeah. And sometimes people like, are like, ah, but you should know that this is, mm -hmm. you know. But some of us <laughs> are not socialized to be to be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of families are hurting. Mm -hmm. Men are hurt, hurting mm -hmm. for feeling, I mean, for being taken for granted. Women are feeling, children, children. are feeling, teachers, mm -hmm. even pastors, even mm -hmm. in the church, mm -hmm. sometimes have doctors. Every, in fact, all the strikes that we are having in our society here today, it's all because they feel they are not being yeah. appreciated, yeah. valued. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think these are coming up well from my little corner. I think people are feeling like, like you were saying, do it yourself. I'm mm -hmm. sufficient in myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sacrifice in any way. But I remember there was a time before I got married some 23 years ago, mm -hmm. I was told that you have to sacrifice. It's a, like a continuum. You are at one end, your wife is at the other end, and all of you have come with a different background. Mm. You've come with a different uh, perspective of seeing issues. But if I want to stand at my corner and want the other spouse to move right away to where it might be too much for the person to sacrifice, mm. and that's where it hurts. But if I come midway and the sp other spouse comes midway, we don't feel it. It's like we're having fun. I have come midway, you've come midway. We're having fun. And so we, both of us don't feel we have moved. Mm. And that is how I think when we're living, it's, it's, not, it's not very easy, it's not very smooth, especially mm. when you're entrenched in your ways. Wait, you yeah. have come back with some traditions that say mm -hmm. the man is a head, mm -hmm. and so the man, when you come home, your wife has mm -hmm. to kneel down and remove your shoes. Mirror. Mirror. <laughs> exactly. Milo. <laughs> but I think we are in a time where now, that was those days when our fathers were the only income earners. Mm -hmm. And so, and you say they are breadwinners, they go out, they make it. And so what about the women who are taking care yeah. of their home? What about if they're supposed to hire somebody to do that job? These days we hire ourselves and those. So how much do we spend on, the, on mm -hmm. that? So let us appreciate that the women, even if they are not working their home, doesn't mean that they, they are not doing anything. If we want to quantify and put value on that, it might be more than the little income that we think we bring in as men. So that sacrifice on that continuum into the midway, I think should be the same. The, 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 hmm, sometimes the heads can be hmm. so deep-seated, yeah? Mm. You tell yourself that, okay, I've let it go. I've forgiven. It's a button, so it keeps coming back. Mm. It keeps coming back, and it comes back, and, you know, it, it just can cripple you. 
And sometimes people just don't know how to handle these things, you know, how to handle the hurt and the pain. Every individual, we call something an abga system where we used to measure the dysfunctionality of a family. So we look at your adaptability, how you're able to adapt to other people in your family. How is it easy to tell Kobe that, Kobe, can I take your drink? Can I take your shirt and wear? I'm going to a sports festival. Can I wear your sneaker? Mm. Some people is a no-no. Once this mm. is mine, you don't go near yeah, it. Yeah. Partnership, how do you sit and share ideas? That's what we want to do as a family. How do we go about it? Do they support you in your quest for other things that mm. you want to do? I got my kid coming to me that, I want to be a cartoonist when I grow up. She draws. I mean, she's crazy. Mm -hmm. She draws mm -hmm. stuff. My father was like, is that what she wants to do? I said, no. She said she wants to be a pediatrician, but this will be an additional job. Mm -hmm. I said, yes. Once you draw one cartoon for Walt well, Disney, you are hitting millions. Yes. Exactly. So if she identifies this, then you want to give her mm -hmm. an opportunity to explore. Exactly. Right. Some people, it's so difficult for them to tell you, this is what, I mean, it's cut and stone. This is what you are doing. doing. You can't That's argue it. about yeah. it. But for you know, the child can identify with the talent that she thinks, this is what I'm good at. Even your own wife, oh, I think you are good at this. Can we explore mm. this option yes. for you? People are so crippled that most mm. talents are being buried. Mm. Mm. People are, mm. I mean, so most of the histories that people are coming to hospitals, most, are, most of them have no clinical, mm. you can't get any diagnosis for them. for them. But once you dig into the social history, how do you resolve? How do you even share time? People are looking at Christmas. People don't even have anybody to go to. Go to, yeah. You get it. So, yeah. most people come to the hospital, it's not just prescribing paracetamol. Mm. For me, a family physician, I want to know what your family background is. Mm. Because what the person has gone through has shaped the person mm. to be what they are. So, some, some people don't need is no medication. Exactly. Some people are aggressive because of the way they've been brought up. Yeah. Some people are quiet because of how they were brought up. So, all these things have facets and these things have health implications. Mm. Once somebody starts coiling in, depression sets in. Yeah. The next moment is suicide. So she said there's a, there's a foundation that has been laid. Yeah. Once that part is gone. Once peop, children become rebellious, yeah. you know that you, part, it, yeah. they go wayward. Yeah. Once the wife is not submissive, then the husband will have to look for submission somewhere. So that is when the dysfunction... And once the husband is not loving... The mm -hmm. wife also looks for something either. somewhere. So you go like, I, I wish I was... Mm -hmm. Your wife, I wish I was mm -hmm. this husband's, mm -hmm. but there's something that is lacking. And that is, that has a lot of health implications. Mm -hmm. Why people are abusing drugs, why you think people that have it all are doing other things mm -hmm. that you think is mm -hmm. way out of proportion is because of dysfunctionality. Yeah. And once we're able to identify that, we'll have a healthy family. Wow. wow. So, in conclusion, what do you have to say to families watching today? Because 6 p.m., almost 7 p.m. now, family time. Families are watching, fathers are watching, children are watching. What do you have to say so that we have a, a healthy family 2019? Well, the little I can say is that family is the sweetest. You go around in circles and circles, you come back to family. Without family, we are nothing. So let's cherish, let's make family what it, what it is. Let us contribute into family. Let's, let's not look too much at what we get from the family. The family, the wife, the, uh, the husband, the kids. Let's, if you are the, the wife, look at what you're giving in. If you are the husband, look at what you're giving in. If you are the kid, look at what you're giving in. And when we look more at what we're contributing, mm -hmm. I believe it will make it a more interesting place than in expectations. Mm -hmm. Because when we expect and we don't receive, that's where disappointment comes in. Comes in. in. Exactly. That's the little Thank you. Reverend Doc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While you were talking, I was just thinking about, you know, naked and unashamed mm. is what family is about. Wow. And that's from the book of Genesis, chapter 2 as well. Naked and unashamed. You know, if that is how your family begins, where you are honest and you are transparent and you can express yourself, then you are, you know, you're on a good path. You know, and families come in all shapes and sizes mm -hmm. these days. You have, you know, blended families mm -hmm. where families are coming, um, you know, from broken yeah, relationships issues. and they have their Bad challenges as well mm -hmm. because there are mm -hmm. trust issues. Mm -hmm. There could be increased mm -hmm. expectations and inner vows. Mm -hmm. I'll never let someone do something to me again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. they have to deal with all those issues because it's not easy mm -hmm. and you need to be teachable. Mm -hmm. People need to 
understand you are not marrying your mother mm -hmm. or your dad. Mm -hmm. This is somebody else mm -hmm. from a totally different mm -hmm. background mm -hmm. to you. Get to know the person. Don't say this is the formula mm -hmm. and follow mm -hmm. a formula. It's mm -hmm. about relationship, relating yes, sir. Yes, sir. to each part of your family, your child, you know, your children, your spouse, your husband, your wife. You've got to be present, not just show up mm. in the in mm. the in the family mm. but be present be with them like we talked about value the fact that you know you have them and um it's going to be a fantastic year if they do that amen and that. amen <laughs> to that that's what i that um we should all know that the family is a structure know where you fit and fit well mm. if you're a child know where your stand is if you're a wife know where your stand if you're a husband i'm sure once all these parties play our part I mean, we'll have a healthy family. We'll have a healthy year. I think our work will be light as doctors. We'll have yet complaints. <laughs> you see? And you have more time to rest. Exactly. And have time for our families as, as well. well. So, thank you so much. Now, um, some of my sponsors, uh, which are hard in 2018, and I'm praying and hoping that they will come back to sponsor us in 2019. That is um, Wilma Africa. They have some souvenirs, some gifts for everybody in the audience. Oh. And then Casa Precon also has some gifts for them. But for my panelists, I have a package for you from Wilma Africa. Mo bring it. <laughs> they have, you know, beautify your kitchen. Something new thank to you. add to the setup in your kitchen. Oh, you. you know, this, this new year. And then Casa Precon, um, a wet purified water and royal drinks. I also giving you one pack of water and a pack of drink oh, 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 oh. to add to it. Yes. yes, you know, and they are great. One thing I can assure you of, they are very low on sugar. Mm. You know, it took me some time to get used to it. A typical fancy woman, I like the sugar plenty, but it took me some time, and I got to understand that they said. This, this is it. So thank you so much. And I see you I'll be back with a bit of me. The first for the year 2019. I'll be back. Well, so 2019 is finally here. Yes, we are here. Whether you crossed over, you jumped over, whatever you did, you are here. I don't know how 2018 treated you. I don't know your plans for 2019. But there's one thing I can tell you for sure is that you are here for a purpose. God allowed you to enter 2019 for a reason. And I pray and hope that you will find out whatever that reason is and whatever the purpose is. You see, this year, one thing that I want you to do, if you ever listen to me, is that you don't take your health for granted. Don't take it for granted. Please, get your health check. Any little thing, please, rush to the hospital. When you're giving medications, take it. Because we are living in an era where people are just dying for, you know, um, due to things that we can. Sometimes you hear that, oh, she slept and she didn't wake up. Or he was just walking in time and he collapsed. Oh, I spoke to him just yesterday. It's becoming scary. Don't take your health, I mean, for granted. Take it seriously. Take your spiritual life as well. Pray, pray, pray like pray crazy. Pray. Get closer to God. Because really, in this world is not all that we see. Things are happening. I'm no prophet. I'm no pastor. But things are happening. And we need to soak ourselves and surround ourselves with the protection of God. Again, I want to talk to you about a family. You see, no matter who you are and what you achieve and how the world cheers you on and all the accolades you get, the names you are given, titles, what have you. If your family, if your family is not your cheerleader, it's not the same. If your family doesn't appreciate you, if they don't see what you are doing, if they don't benefit from it, if they don't feel a part of it, your confidence will never, ever be complete. 
So please, don't joke with your family this year. Let's bond. Let's stay together. Let's learn to forgive. Let's learn to work with what we have. You see, it's okay to admire what somebody has. But, listen, we also have something that they don't have. We are human beings. We come from different backgrounds. Let's learn to forgive each other. Let's learn to accommodate, to adapt to situations. Love must be the center of families. We've been hurting each other for too long. Husband hurting wife, wife hurting husband. Parents are hurting children. And we are living in homes pretending everybody thinks everything is okay. This is the perfect picture family. But things are happening. Let's stop pretending. Let's stop kidding ourselves. And live right. When I say live right, I'm not talking about being perfect or overly religious or holy. But making sure that there's peace at home. There's unity at home. There's a bonding. We are honest to each other. So now, as you sit there right now, with your children, with your husband, with your wife, yes, I know you haven't told him that thing he did that you didn't like. You haven't told her that she hurt you the last time. You haven't said sorry to your children. You know, you know that you did something that they didn't like. Can you turn to your husband, to your wife, right now, and say, honey, sorry. You know, for whatever it is. Even if you can't tell me. If I've hurt you in any way, forgive me. Let's hold each other's hand and enter this year as a powerful force. As a united family. Can you turn to your children and say, kids, we know we didn't get you all that you wanted. We didn't do right by you. We didn't do everything. Forgive us. Parents must learn to apologize to their children. And children, can you also tell your parents, dad, mom, we know. We know that there are certain things we did. Or maybe there are things we did that you don't know, but we are sorry. And finally, before you go to bed tonight, can you pray together as a family? Commit yourselves into God's hands. Soak yourself in love and in unity. So that this year, this year, the heads of 2018 will not be a part of it. The disappointments, the... All the negativities cannot come close to you. As for us, for the standpoint, our theme for 2019 is the woman of power. Woman, know your power. Know who you are. Know what you have. And work with it. My name remains Ohineja Gifty Auntie. I am still a woman with super crazy faith in God. But this time, my faith in God has reached dizzying heights. Because I've seen so much. I didn't think I could make it this far. Business-wise, family-wise, you know, in many aspects, I didn't think I could cross over to here. Still having and holding on to what I love and cherish. But His grace has brought me this far. And I pray that His grace will sustain all of us in 2019. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now. The topic today was um, about family. I had an opportunity to listen to wonderful people and to learn about family and know that having your family support you in whatever you do is one of the best feelings you ever have. Today I learned that family is one of the most contributing factors to our life. It's really important if we are always with our family and we are always together with our family and like they really help us to build our life. Without our family, we are incomplete.